Your website is the one place online where you can 100% control the marketing message that your potential clients see. Think of it like a really important job interview where you hope to go from a large pool of candidates to a short list of the most qualified to the hands down only person they'd even think of hiring for the position. And just like in a job interview, a bad first impression. Any questions about the job? Yeah, one. You guys ever press charges? It's pretty hard to overcome. So instead of fighting it, delaying it, and making excuses for it, let me show you how to make your website stand out to visitors with seven simple actionable changes or, you know, tweaks that you can implement today. Small change number one, be really clear exactly what you do, how, and why. The entire future of your website depends on it. Dramatic? Maybe, but science actually backs me up on this one. So way back in 2010, Microsoft actually did a study analyzing page visit durations for more than 2 billion browsing sessions. And what they found with all that data is pretty heavy. Essentially, the first 10 seconds can predict the future performance of any given website. Wait. More to the point, the first 10 seconds of any page visit is critical for the viewer's decision to stay or leave. So the probability of them leaving in those first seconds is extremely high, because let's face it, a lot of websites out there just suck. And everyone checking out a new website for the first time kind of goes into it, you know, with their arms folded at first, um, just ready to be unimpressed. But if that user likes what they see enough to survive past that 10 second mark, they're very likely to stick around for a much longer time where they can actually see why they should work with you. And the best way to hold on to your users long enough to pass the 10 second test is to be clear not only in what you offer, but how you make your client's life better. In other words, your unique value proposition will save you if you lead with it. And you can do this by making really good use of the most valuable real estate on your site, the header, or what we in the web business call the hero section, right up at the top of your homepage. So you wanna use it to clearly and simply convey who you help and how. Do not mask this in vagueness or cliches or waste the space bragging about your business itself. As long as you keep the focus on your customer's problem and how you solve it, you're golden. Okay, time for small change number two, which is to simplify your main navigation bar. So if you've ever spent a Saturday night endlessly scrolling till you hit the bottom of Netflix, you know all too well that an overwhelmed mind makes no decision at all. And if you've ever been on a website that had a navigation bar that you know stretched into a second row, it's exactly the same. Even consolidating and making each option a dropdown with multiple choices can end up being a lot. So instead of that, do this. Just make sure your navigation has five buttons max to only your most important conversion focused pages. Things like services pages with a deeper dive into your various offerings. An about page with some background about what makes you the expert but always leading with how this is actually gonna help solve your visitor's problem. A testimonials or reviews page to show social proof of real people's results after working with you. And of course, a page that lets people get the ball rolling toward working with you. Now, there may be a lot more information you wanna share with your site visitors, but you'll definitely wanna demote those pages to the footer navigation on your website. That way they will be there for the small handful of people who actually want that particular page, but they won't be competing for attention with your more important conversion-focused pages. All right, small change number three, make your CTAs strong, clear, and consistent. So whether your CTA, otherwise known as your call to action button, whether that leads your visitor to schedule a call with you or just fill out an interest form, you want that direct action step to be super bold, clear, and consistent throughout your entire website. Not sure how? Here are a couple tips to get the absolute most conversions from your call to action buttons. Don't stop at just one. So for your longer pages, including multiple CTAs throughout the page can actually generate up to 220% more leads than if you just hit it and quit it after the first. 
give them some breathing room, right? Calls to action that are surrounded by more negative space and less clutter around it can really increase your conversions by as much as 232%. Make it personal, right? Conversion rate optimization expert Michael Agard saw a 90% increase when he changed just one single word in his company's call to action button, going from start your free trial to start my free trial. And that just shows that people will always buy more when they feel a more of a personal connection with something. And it's a pretty good shortcut to that connection. Okay, small change number four, use images and videos. Now, this has been the trend for a while and it continues to hold up. So most people would rather watch a video than read about the same topic. The way your brain interprets information is 90% visual. So a site with more images will not only help your customers grasp and remember your website, it can connect them more emotionally to your brand, which is gonna keep them on your site longer. And when updating your site with photos, also keep in mind, you wanna use lots of happy customer photos. So we want our site visitors to have a good experience when they visit and get a sense of what it feels like to finally have their problem solved something you're undoubtedly going to do, right? And your photos meant to portray your previous happy clients back that up. You also want the visual style of your photos to be cohesive across the board because if one photo is bright and cheerful, you don't want a dark moody one right next to it. It just makes your site look amateur when it doesn't have to. Okay, our next small tweak is adding social proof throughout your site. Um, everyone loves a good referral, so it's no surprise that 72% of consumers will only ever take action after reading at least one positive review. So this means you wanna share any positive testimonials or reviews, um, but social proof isn't all about reviews. You know, you should also sprinkle Things like media mentions, logos of businesses you've helped, and articles that position you as an expert on whatever service it is you're offering. And going back to keeping that navigation clean, you might want to consider strategically placing these elements throughout your site in really key areas, in addition to on a dedicated page that you can link to from the main header navigation. You can also use your footer on your website to include things like media icons of credible sources that you've worked with. Um, footers on websites are consistent across all the pages, and they're also the place where people naturally look to contact you. Um, it's an often overlooked, but really clever place for additional visibility. Okay, next small change, speed up your site. How long do you give a website to load? Well, according to a study by the folks over at Google, straight to the source, 53% of mobile visitors will typically only wait about three seconds for a site to load before just jumping ship completely. And if it does load, but half of the page shows error marks for images, your conversion rate's gonna just drive in a Ford Thunderbird right off a cliff. And yes, that's a Thelma and Louise reference for all the kids watching. Now, luckily you can test your site speed through a platform. It's an app that I use called NitroPack. So just go to nitropack.io, that's their website, and test the current velocity of your site right now. And according to them, even a one second delay decreases your conversion rate by 16%. So if it's performing below the recommended level, you can try one of their optimized plans or install their WordPress plugin instead. I've got a link down below. So um, you can also do an inventory of any images or GIFs that you currently have. They might be a huge file size weighing you down, but if you install NitroPack, they're gonna take care of that issue for you and your images won't even look any worse. It works incredibly well, way better than any other speed tool that I've ever used personally. All right, next small tweak, use your site to your list building advantage, right? Your website is not just about getting the quick sale. In fact, almost nobody coming to your site for the first time will buy on that first visit. So it really only makes sense to reframe the purpose of your website to build your runway of future clients. So if your website were to offer a really compelling, actionable, and helpful free piece of content in exchange for their email, a lot of people will take you up on that even on their first visit. So what happens is they opt in and then the freebie gets instantly delivered thanks to some automation on the back end. And now you've got a new email address that you can follow up with, with more helpful content, 
before you hit them up for the sale about four emails later. And I actually have one more bonus tip for you to improve your website and your conversions. And it's all about adding one simple little plugin to your website. So if you click right here, I'll show you what it is and how it actually got me a 125 times return on my investment when I tried it. Not even kidding. This is completely worth your time. So click right here so you can get some of those results for yourself.